<laughs> One way or another, this is going to be a great adventure. <laughs> this time. Tell me the story now, what we're doing here. Okay. So, Glenn had a problem getting the back nut off. So, <clears throat> as you may be able to see, it's time for a new set of slicks. Yeah, yeah, These of course. Great of course. track tires, nice, yeah. mag nice Marchesini magnesium wheels. Exactly, exactly. We'll scratch the shit out the, of them. Beautiful. <laughs> I brought it to the right place. So the problem was that because of the beauty of the Ducati single-sided swing, yes, of course, they of course, got of one course. giant nut. Yes, on is. this wheel. But and you need the special wrench. I have the special okay. socket. However, my long breaker bar was not cutting it because oh. if they put this on when you take it to the shop, which I did, right? I had yeah, service, yeah. and I said, while you're at it. Put some new slicks on it at uh, at the end of last year. Okay. Because they only last a couple of track days. Yeah. They if they put it on with an impact wrench, it's good night, Irene. Exactly. And then exactly. they go to torque it, and it's like, oh yeah, it's torque. No, it's well above torque. Uh, so when they go to click yeah. it, exactly, it's exactly. well above the torque, right? Now, now when we did Lauren's bike, yes, Luciano broke his wrench. I remember. You remember that, right? Yes. And then Joe Roselli, I remember we had trouble getting yes. it off or something. Yes. So, but so now this, we've we've got that problem solved because I already dealt with that on yesterday's video. So, or this morning's, I don't even know yeah. where the hell I am today. It's late so, at night. So, what I had to do was go to Harbor Freight, good old Harbor Freight, and I bought an air impact gun that was rated for 1,200 pounds. Yeah, I have the same gun. Yeah, that's a biggie, and it's okay. a half inch drive, which is you know, it's yeah, got right, a nice right, size right. to it. Came off in two seconds. Right, literally two seconds. Brr came right off and if you would have saw me do that compared to the hour and a half i was spending last night i know trying to know. gorilla it off two I know. totally different scenes okay so basically we got to go i'll take these out to the garage we're we'll gonna me. see if slicks you want to work down here or do you want to work in the garage I can work down here. okay let's Where work down here. i'll bring the tools down here Where have, i can go get it well let me get the see the now light. look we're work we're working till dark the the nighttime rate is now in effect Oh my God! Well, why'd you tell me to get here at seven? Well, I, you, you said, I said in the morning, not at night. Oh, come on! Look at this! Oh, oh. look at this hooker! Turn the light on. Let's oh. see. Ah, that's the fish tank. Oh my God! You got to do this in real life. Tell me, tell me. Look at this guy. How do you like it at the paint job? Oh, he's not happy with it. I could see. I wanted to get it ready for Sunday. That you know. Dale Holy sing with Sunday. Shit. Does that look nice? You got the camera. Yes or no? Yeah, of course I got the camera on. The camera's always on. You go to the bathroom, the camera's on. Holy cow. Does it look good? Man, does it look good? I can't even put it into words. Looks nice, right? This paint job is a friggin' five thousand dollar paint job. Oh, more than that. This is <laughs> five grand. You wouldn't do it for five grand. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Nice. Oh my god. The gas cap is what makes it. And it's a shame it leaks. It's a leaker. I put gas in it. There's you need the, the rubber gasket. You need the gasket. No, no, no. It vents differently. I'll explain it. Not a big deal. I can fix it. I'm just glad I found it. Oh, my gosh. So Joe Roselli said he's not really impressed with it. Vince was Vince was, Vince was the only guy who said something nice so far. Yeah. I think he was lying. Sure. <laughs> you pretty think sure Sunday Joe will have some fun? <laughs> oh, my gosh. The front end looks so good. The polished wheels, the rotor. Go. This the is what wheel. I want you to do. Oh, now we got a new test. There's a new test. You know, like bitching rides. Yeah. Build building custom bikes isn't easy. It's bitching. Here's the test. You go to the back wheel. You go like that. Now rub it. Just touch it, and tell me you don't feel. That isn't a feel you've ever felt on Marchesini wheels. <laughs> that is something. Nah, it's, else. it's actually came out pretty good. This looks so. It came good. out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Did you take it for a drive? When you got your 1098, remember? Yeah. And we went riding and everything. Yeah. I want you to say, how does that feel? Just, just the seating position, the riding position, isn't it's it? It's super duper comfortable. It's, it's. You could ride all day. All day. Long. And you got the two Ducatis. You got the one, the, the cruiser one, and it, I got the Pikes Whatever. Peak, the, I don't know what that. This is super comfortable. Yeah. No, I mean you could the ride bars, this bike all day. You know what happens when you raise your arms up like that? The bars just fit right into. They're your right there. You, uh, I'm yep. sitting up normally, yep. and if I just raise my hands up, the bars are right They're there. They're right there. So you're yeah. not doing any of this. No. Nope. No. Nope. None of that. None of that. Mamma mia. None I like that. it down this way. I like it up this way. Well, uh, look. Two each sausage. It's up. handlebars. Oh, man. This paint job looks insane. 
that gas cap looks. Do you know how hard it is to do this? I mean, I hope you appreciate. This is not like one do of those. I know how hard nah. it is. No. Shit. If you said let's do this, I'm trying to call in the infantry when I just <laughs> the part. Come on, we're having fun. It let's change is tires. Unbelievable. I think I think it came out. I hope everybody likes it Sunday, and then it we can get into beating the hell out of it on some rides. So we all love Glenn, and we're all going to work. We're going to pull a midnighter here to get him back back on a set of slicks that aren't bald. But anyway, we got to get. I I'm glad he got to see it. We did our bragging. We had our 15 minutes of fame, but now we got to go to work. And that's what that's what the A team was in the beginning, and that's what it still is. So the FZR project rolls on. Now, to be honest, I'm not used to working late into the night like this, so I hope I don't run out of gas or energy or pizza or whatever. But there are times the A-team just has to step up. Now, and Glenn has rescued me from uh, being stuck out on the road hundreds of miles from home. And, and we step up for him. We know he's going to the MotoGP Sunday and he wants to win. All right, look at this guy. Now, the whole purpose of what we're doing, and Glenn's going to demonstrate it, is to these are expensive wheels, but even if they were cheap wheels, you don't want to scratch them. Don't want to uh, mess them up. That's the that's the whole thing in a nutshell. Don't scratch the wheels. Yeah. So you got. You, well, you're never gonna wear here. This no, you got. You're gonna have here another. Is done. Another. You got another track day, but what's the point? You I'm know, not going. You, you don't want to do this in the middle of the summer either. So on this side. See, a real track tire, let me show this. A real track tire is pointy in the middle because you're almost never riding on the middle. Right. So a street tire would have rounder here. Uh, it, and the shape, what usually happens is a real expert, a guy that's a real racer or currently, can look at how this rubber bleeds off to the side and if it's going on an angle. And before, it always was my feeling, before you change a tire, look at the old one and see what you can, you know, Am I doing this wrong, or is this side, you know, one side is worn, one side isn't? But these look like you're right. You're going pretty good. And by the way, Glenn has a channel. It's G L E N N. When you look it up, there is a Glenn Hansen. <laughs> Except the guy's a pervert. Oh the guy's a goddamn pervert. And then there's a guy that's a musician, and then there's a guy. A Glenn, what? The, how many Glenn Hansons are there? I'm gonna change it. But it's gonna, Glenn G L E N N. He has his track days. He cooks pretty good. You can see Joe Roselli's. Uh, that's performance right. the one you're following joe you guys were cooking pretty good we had a good time and uh, it was a lot of fun watching you and karen even enjoyed it she said when is he going to pass valentino rossi and then all, <laughs> all of a sudden marquez went by it doesn't look like, doesn't look like <laughs> many people are passing valentino all right so by taking the old valve out that's a typical tool now the way this ducati is uh oh you have 90 degrees here okay I have a so, 90 on the front yeah. okay when you have a 90 what happens if you have these long arms sometimes you scratch the rim if you got a highly polished painted rim so i took one and made a uh, kind of a, a tool for doing that take the arms off it yeah just press them out yep. just press them out and so that's one place you can avoid scratching these are warm already it's like 60 degrees yeah, outside moving. okay but see if, if you don't we'll just use the Okay, now this is the, obviously the Harbor Freight bead breaker. I put double, triple layers of Gorilla Tape in places that it would tend to scratch. I also throw the towel in there too, just to make sure. So yeah, that the rear wheel, you don't have a brake disc on there. No. Okay, so I'm wondering, should you turn it upside down or that way? Um, I think this way because it's hollow back there. So yeah, you're not going to scratch anything yeah. in the back. So okay. how do you place your towel? I don't know how you underneath. Place it just down. lay it here. Let me do it. Okay. Uh, you, because this is a big tire, let me hold this up. Okay, hold that for a See, second. I have a fork leg extension on this. There you go. Okay, now there. Just now, you got the breaker. There you go. There you go. Cool. Good. Cool. Cool. So the big one popped pretty easily. This one looks like it's going to just just keep going around. I like the one with your clutch, the, the, the noisy clutch thing. Because uh, I remember that day you brought the ST2 here. We had the plates all over the floor. Oh, funny. <laughs> what goes in first, the red one or the blue one? <laughs> ah! Why didn't we take a video of that? That was great. We had so much fun back then. So with these, just having it up this high, we have a special piece of nylon. This is actually a thing you use to separate dies when you have a machine shop. We put that under there. So we're going to cut this with a saw. That's only there so we can't slip and pop it. But 
even more important thing happened. The pizza's here. And by the way, for reference, I've always found the big wide tires go on a whole lot easier than the skinny ones. Worst bike to put tires on? Worst, RD. We're eating healthy. This is <laughs> MotoGP food. Where's that pizza? <laughs> Since I'm not a racer anymore, I can eat food. Ah, Glenn's got to stay in shape for a big race Sunday. I can eat pizza. See, uh, to honor Glenn, I'm going to eat an honest salad. <laughs> Only to honor, to honor the salad. You disgrace the pizza. Oh, the pizza. I'm, I'm dying for that pizza. Oh, my God. The docks. Here's the. But they still. Here's the key to getting your slicks installed on time. <laughs> so good. We Uh, let's see how tough you really are. Come on, baby. Come on, let's go. Ready? One, two, two three, go! Oh, there it goes. Come on, baby. I thought you were stronger. Oh, come on, baby. Oh. You think we don't know what we're doing here in the Ukraine? We know everything about Ducatis. <laughs> How funny is that going to be? Yeah. I go to YouTube. Now we're going to go, because your video would be the one you'd be looking at. If you look down in here, I want to show this. You can see the belt. The belt and the tire is right here. That was Rich Peabody that shared that information with us. And he used to, uh, well, maybe he is still a good rider. I don't know. Rich, are you still a good rider? Anyway, what's going on there? That's supposed to be the heavy part of the tire where the belts join. That's what it looks like. We're just guessing because we don't know. Now, these slicks have double red dots. I guess that means don't let girls ride the bike. Or when were these manufactured? Oh, my God. These tires are six years old, Glenn. Girls are better than did, you get, did you get these on discount or what? <laughs> That's all I can get on. So what Glenn is going to demonstrate is the method years and years ago we perfected using Gorilla Tape to pinch the tire. And this is the first time he's doing it on slick tires, so maybe we're going to learn something else. There's, there's spiders living inside your tire there. Yeah, in my garage for Bugs and squirrels, yeah. But anyway, he's going to show this method of putting four strips of duct tape. We may or may not have to heat the tape, because usually the big tires go on a lot easier than the old ones. So, But Glenn is a professional, and uh, well, the rest is history. Put the tape on. You remember how to do it? I do. Okay. I mean, actually, I wanted to Don't put it on. Don't go into the bead. Stay, keep it away from the bead. Start and go here. I wanted to start here. No, don't, start don't here. It, yeah, about okay. an inch up into there. there. Yeah, because once you pinch right. the tape, you'll never get it off. Press that down as you go. All right, now we gotta. Now you gotta see how tough you really are. See, I don't have any trouble doing this because I'm really tough. He's a very strong man. <laughs> <laughs> these tires look like baloney skins. <laughs> you sure you paid for these tires? Jeez. <laughs> they fell off a truck. <laughs> fell off the. The meat wig. Everybody says, oh, oh my God. I love the Pirelli. I love the Pirelli. It's Italy. Italy comes with the Ducati. Made in Germany. <laughs> right made here. in Spain. Yes. Made, in Pol up. made in Poland. Made in Germany. Oh, yeah, that's right. it. I... The last time I rode slicks was in 1976 and I went on my ass. So I'm not. have come a long way since then. <laughs> but I haven't. <laughs> I don't. Maybe I even went downhill. I don't know. Gotta be honest. A good helper would have had these ready to a go. A good helper, right? It. This is why when you get to be a really good rider, Glenn, you don't mount your own tires. <laughs> Only the schmucks like me mount their own what are you tires. You talking about? I saw a guy named Wendy. Valentino Rossi doesn't mount his I own tires. I saw a guy named Wendy in a video that said it was easy. Don't worry about it. <laughs> me and Luciano are the only two guys that know how to do this. <laughs> and I'm not sure Luciano knows how to do it. He bought a tire machine oh, that says. See? Four pieces, four, no more than four. Yeah, but that popped. What pop? Oh, well, unpop it. You're the pop, but a mom or whatever you are. Come on, we're supposed to be showing people how to do this. I know. What? The biggest thing you learn from watching some guys struggle like this is you got to have fun owning a motorcycle. And if you just go to Motorcycle Mall and pop for the new uh, whatever, the Schmagila Cuddy, you're not going to have the fun Glenn and I have doing this. No. Not a bit. Oh, man, this tire is going to go on by itself. You won't even have to roll it on. I, these are a lot a lot softer than Michelin's. Wow. I make it look that way. With you, all 
I'll saying. bet right now Luciano is reaching for the how to run to the bathroom. He's being spent so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is more fun. I, I haven't had this much fun since I don't know. We're doing real time, huh? Oh my god. Yeah, I like being behind the camera and watching other guys do the work. No. I'm used to no. being a quarterback, getting out there getting my ass kicked <laughs> and, and not getting paid. Okay, so you want to be on, make sure you got the right, I'll get the camera going. Okay, the right rotation. My old teething ring. Okay. All right, so what were we going to do? We didn't mark where that uh, joint was. Oh, boy. Well, that's, you know, it's on camera. Dumb is as dumb does. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you want we me to find it, was, it again? Yeah, it's it was, where the red dots are. That's what we said. You want to Use the, the red stand? dots. I'd put the red dots opposite the, the thing, and if it doesn't balance, tell uh, Pirelli you want your money back. Okay. Get that slide down as far as you can. Okay. There it is. Ah, oh, this one broke. That's okay. Hold on. Ah, oh, that one broke. There we go. Nothing broke. He's lying. <laughs> You're a liar. Pull the tape off. The oldest trick in the book. Most important thing with this is to get all the tape off before you put air in the and tire. Out. We have learned this. Actually, the big tires do go on a lot easier. And when you, if this were a warm day, it's about 55 degrees out there. You if this tire were 90, I wouldn't even have to pay Glenn. You think they'll believe us if we told them the little tire went on easier? No. Nobody's going to believe anything on my videos. Nobody believe anything <laughs> who would, I said. Who would believe anything? <laughs> kidding me? You got to see it with your own eyes. No camera cuts. My feet, your feet, holy mackerel. This turned out to be a great night. Pretty easy. So far, anyway. We jinxed it. We had, <laughs> now this tire will break or something. There goes the Marchesini rim with a crack in it. <laughs> they break easy, you know. They bounce it, a bounce it, a bounce it, a bounce. Boy, they are soft tires. They are like baloney skins. Holy yeah, mackerel. What do you, hold on a second. It's okay, lie to me. Come on, tell me. Yeah, yeah. Look at that elbow. Yeah. Show me your wallet. <laughs> it's even smaller. <laughs> you, right. I know. Yeah. Okay. The compressor's already on. Great. You don't have it seated over here, but it might seat. It'll this. seat. These tires are so soft. What do you, re did you ever keep track of the mileage you get with them? Well, of course it's irrelevant. Yeah, if no, I'm doing around. about, probably about three track days. Three track days. So it's a third of the cost of the set for the tires. And then the mounting fee, which of course is measured in pizza. If you bring it to a shop, they're going to charge you a buck fifty to mount them. Wow. On the bike. Off the bike, probably about 75 bucks. Wow. We can get a lot of pizza. I'm Try gonna, getting the food. I'm going to get fat. <laughs> Try getting it done in season. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the tricky part. The best thing is always be able to do stuff yourself. The hell with bike dealers. We're not interested in bikes. Put some air in it. Are you ready? Go from the other. Oh, okay. You got room to yeah, do no, it. Let's see. Easy. Let's see if it pops. That's a real Harbor Freight compressor. It should pop it right open. Famous last words. See, if you're riding motorcycles and not having fun. Got to hear this sound, though. This is the sound we love to hear. The sound of success? That's right. Where's that sound? <laughs> Come on. There it hey, is. hey, hey, hey. You one know more? your stuff. We need another one. Man, I bet Luciano's even impressed with this mount. He's like, look at Whoa, these are two amateurs. Oh, mia. You're never going to get the second pop. Oh, they will pop. Don't right. worry. Oh. Mike Depress has got a lot of air in it. Let it pop. It's a big tire. Yeah. As you're filling up the Goodrich blimp here. Jesus. It's going to make gonna, me eat my words. I'm going to die of I'm gonna die of old age here soon. Here it goes. Is it going? Here it comes. You're, You're coming? You got it. Ah! I've been shot! I've been shot! I got a call. Let's call a lawyer. Holy shit. Hanson shoots You're me. You're not getting no dime out of me. Ah! Ah! All right, so he's doing a leak test. There you go. Always check the Schrader, too. Piece of cake. Sometimes you can hear it, it's so yes. bad. Yeah, well, you're okay. You, okay. you would have seen, you could see it right away oh, yeah. if there's bubbles coming up, believe me. You know, when the bubbles are settling. Yeah, no, I always do old school. I run my yeah, finger run around here. Yeah, feel for the. You feel for if there's something yep. funky going on there. Or if you cracked your thousand dollar rim, that's always good. Mama okay, mia. flip it. Oh my God! <laughs> back to the pizzeria. Mr. Marchesini. Back yeah. to the pizzeria with you. Oh, back to the dealer for warranty back work. To the dealer. 
Oh my God. Got to make a lot of bagels. To Vince, I hope you're watching this. We're trying to show you the professional way to mount tires. He doesn't tonight. know what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah, he charges money too. What the hell's I with that? <laughs> and let's put it this way: every time I'm stuck, we go to we go to Wendy. <laughs> every time Wendy's stuck, we head over to Vince. Okay. God, you're such a bastard. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so we got it in the balancer, and it looks like the weights are weighing it. The down. weights are the thing that that's wrong here. So let's see if it stops right there. Just take the weights off. Uh, it's hold near on. that area. Hold on, hold on. It's not out by much though. Not gonna be terrible. I got more oh, weights if you on. need them. Maybe it's the, the valve. Is, is this a, is this an aluminum one or steel? It's aluminum. It comes with aluminum. Okay. Yeah. Remember we found that out. We replaced. Oh yeah. We and one of Glenn's bikes. We replaced the steel with aluminum, and the whole thing would. You had to add five weights to the other side. So it well, looks like it's in between the weight and the valve. <laughs> well, now look for those red dots. Where the hell are the red dots? Nobody knows what those red dots do. They're here. They had nothing to do nah, with it. No, they have nothing to do with it at all. Well, if we take them. Nah, even if you take the weights off. Now, hold on. If you take those weights off, the valve will pull, won't it? Well, then we'll take the valve off. And what if the valve comes? <laughs> I take a knife and cut a hole in the tire. And what if the tire? Hey, how fussy are you going to be the first time you hit the brakes? This tire's going out of balance anyway. The way you dripped and drooled those other tires? <laughs> you took the old weights off. No, the old weights are still here. Okay, but you got let the weight. It's the same. Out. Hold on one sec. Okay. Let the heavy side go to the exact bottom so and I start by this, putting it at the exact opposite. I think that was... It was. Okay. So let me just go here. Where's that weight? You don't think we have a balance any tires yet. <laughs> you got that weight that I just... Yeah, hey, there's a whole stack of them there. No, 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 I just peeled one. One of these is the same as the two little ones you have. Mm -hmm. Be fussy here, because when you pass Valentino Rossi and hit the brake and that weight comes off and takes it, takes his bike out, man alive. So Glenn came to the conclusion. Now, I'd take a little piece of Gorilla Tape and go over yeah. that. I'd, do they let you get through tech without tape over that? I don't Most think they do. Most of the do. time, they'll stop you. I don't think the ones we did, they they check for tape Most all the time. Most of the time, they'll ask you to stop. Made in Germany. <laughs> you have an Italian bike with German Pirelli tires. Should that's never pull the motorcycle off Mussolini. Oh man, you see, that's why they didn't win the war. Pirelli tires. <laughs> see that? Anyway, so let's recap. We had a lot of fun. We ate a pizza. We ate a pizza. We ate some salad. Had a little salad. And uh, your slicks are. You're gonna win the race Sunday. We dropped off the fairing. Uh, or crash. We got uh, a little bit of paint. You want to see? We got it. Make me a pattern of what you want to do up with this paint. No pattern. Look at what he brings. A mouse could piss more than this. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You need paint to do. You said you could work mirrors. Yeah, yeah, but that's even. You... The Pope couldn't paint the bike with that paint. Okay, this one. You just want to put the stripe on it. All we're doing is covering. Okay, we're gonna make we're gonna make a stripe over here, and that's done. I'll do it with white. Do that, right, Mussolini. And so you don't need any green for that. Where you need the green is up here. Correct. And you I got already, enough in this can for that. I did the body work already. So I'm gonna try to make this white up and and bring it back here somehow. And, okay. And if you don't like it, hey, lump it. Yeah. No, that'll be fine. That'll and be you fine. know what? We're, and my brother, this is for John Pothia. Here's the brother P Touch, also known as Landfill. While we were doing this job, John Pothia graciously uh, fixed the computer, hooked up the paper, got that, got that, mounted two tires, he threw the brother picture around, away. Uh, he had remote <laughs> access. Yeah. He was in your bank info. Oh, yeah, he's got. Pay. John, make that mortgage payment, That dub, make a double payment. Now. <laughs> Poor John's taking a beating tonight. Now look, look at night? this picture, and then look at this picture. Here we are, when we were young, a long time ago when Royal, we was young. Oh man, what the guy. hell happened? What happened? What the hell? And He's look, looking... here's the bike, the yellow bike at there a track day. I was at that Look track at that, day. yeah, and that, who would know that years later? Holy mackerel. Somebody's going to look at these pictures and go, these old bastards look exactly <laughs> the same. <laughs> we're, we're not the same, no. <laughs> And how long ago it was I made this concept sketch? Oh, man. Oh, and boy, I was thinking, I would never guess it came out that Be day. there Sunday, people. Wow. Oh, we, wait, you'll well, be watching this after some... Well, no, no, three days. It's a three-day You'll see it leg. Sunday. Man, oh, man. If That's you figure out how to edit video before you shoot it, then I'll be impressed.
We can do it for your channel. I'm gonna stretch that green. Remember, his channel is G L E N N, and don't click on Glenn Hansen unless you're, you know, well, we, we want to talk about it, Wink. but not, not. They, they make Twinkies and stuff. Don't Twinkies. do that. that. It's G L E N N, and you'll see how fast this guy writes. He burns up slicks. He he goes right to the pizza parlor, gets there, and says, "Ah, oh, don't have any money. Nothing. I'm, I'm broke. broke tonight." Oh boy, it turned out to be a nice night. Look at this. I'm not used to working on night shift anymore. Not since I haven't been. <laughs> never on I was I never so happy to see two tires go on rims. <laughs> what a night. Great night. All right. Ride safe, my changing? friend. This night really brought back a lot of memories of the good old days of the A-Team, and we did have many. Whew. I'm kind of glad that's done. Tomorrow I can get back. A couple little details on this. Oh, my God. There's details on everything. I got to change a tire on that. 650. Oh my God, I gotta get ready for the big reveal. We're gonna take the bike to uh, Bikes and Breakfast, assuming, uh, assuming I get some sleep tonight. Anyway, great night. We love Glenn, of course. All the good fun, poking fun of each other. It's really what the A-Team's all about. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.